Hey guys, it's Kelsey and back with another scrapbooking process video and this is layout three for the historic homes tour that me and my mom went on. So like I mentioned on the last layout of the homes tour, this one is more just a couple photos my mom took of me downtown. Um, <clears throat> a couple years ago, uh, the, the city built this bridge that went over the railroad track, um, which we were worried would kind of change the skyline and the, you know, the hominess of our little downtown area. But we were pleasantly surprised that they kept it in the style of downtown and it doesn't look new at all. It fits right into the, the city and we actually really love it. So this is a bridge that you can walk on when there's a train going by so you can go over the bridge and you don't have to wait for the cross road. Um, and we just like going on it because it gives you a really good view. So this is just a couple photos of us on top of the bridge. Um, I did want to take the scrap of this brown chevron from the last home's tour layout that I salvaged and use it as a frame on this one. I've really been dying ever since I got this collection to do a more orangey blue layout. I really love the way the chevron looks with this blue polka dot. So that's going to be the colors I go with for this, <laughs> this layout. I am distressing the inside of this frame because I decided that instead of having this frame behind the main portion of the layout, I would lay it on top. And I really wanted a distressed <clears throat> textural element that really helps you notice that this is a frame that's going over the back of the layout um, and not behind it. I think it gives a really cool look. So I'm just working on that. Again, I also <laughs> trimmed out a frame of the blue to use on a future layout too, um, just because I thought there's enough of it hidden by this brown chevron to be able to gut it. So I'm just piecing together these two bits now <laughs> to form my background. Um, I went ahead, I think I already, maybe I didn't glue them together yet, but I'm going to have my two photos overlapping a little bit and stuck together that way. I'm not going to mat them individually or anything. I just want to have some fun layers running behind them. And I'm really going to try and use a lot of scraps I've already accumulated this month. Um, to form those layers. I'm not going to do <clears throat> a super um, like paper layery <laughs> layout, but I do want there to be a lot of fun elements. But before I even got there, I got sidetracked because I knew I wanted a really cute layery cluster in this lower left hand corner. <laughs> and I really wanted to base it around the little fox because again, I'm trying to get a couple of these wildlife animals up on this page so that I don't have a lot left over by the end of the month. But I really like the little cluster that's coming together. I layered a couple of the tickets from 49 and Market. Um, this cutie little fox, a little like tree stump, a scrap of the lace from 49 and Market, and some florals. And I love how it's coming together. So this is basically the little cluster that's kind of setting the tone for the rest of the page. I'm trying to ink everything as I go again. And again, I want a thread bundle. So once I go to lay this blue floral down, I am going to do a little thread bundle behind it, which I think is a really nice touch. But I'm just trying to play with the different blue and brown elements that are in this collection. I really like how those tones look together. So just trying to get all of this stuck down where I had it. And then I'll start playing with my paper layers a little bit. These are the two main scraps I want to work with. I want to use this very subtle text print with like a partial cluster on the background as my main layer. And then I wanted to incorporate the scrap of the brown chevron into a couple bits just so it's part of the layering by the photos and not just the frame around the outside. Um, but I kind of had to figure out spatially where those were going to go so I knew where I could stick down the blue leaves from that lower left hand cluster. <laughs> um, but I'm thinking that this uh, kind of white paper will be the background bit and I'm going to have the brown chevron be like a long layer that's <clears throat> running behind behind the white layer so it's going to look more like a horizontal bit once I get it glued down. Um, of course that piece isn't big enough so I had to trim it into two and I'm just going to sandwich that white paper with it so it looks like a longer bit. But I like having that peeking out of both sides of the background. 
And now I'm just going to try and <laughs> get those glued down so they're not shifting as I build the rest of the layout. I am noticing as I'm piecing this together, there is that light, that really large like white area above the photo. So I am planning on including a layer kind of tucked in in front of that to block some of that area off. And I really wanted it to be a blue layer to tie in the blue of the background, but I didn't want to use the polka dot. So I kind of went through some of the 49 and market stuff to find a blue layer. Um, and I really like how it ended up. I, it's just a little, I don't even know what this is, but some kind of log. And I really like that kind of antique, antique blue. I think it went with the layout really well. So I want most of it tucked on top of the photos, but I'm going to trim a little bit to tuck on the bottom so it looks like a larger sheet and you get that blue in two different areas. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still getting over being sick again. I'm so sorry. Uh, but I'm just going to stick this blue piece down a little bit on both of the top and bottom. And then I kind of know I want the upper right hand area of that photo to be my next cluster. <laughs> so. It needs some interest. I like these layers, but I need a focal point. So before I glue everything down, I'm gonna gut the blue polka dot of the background because there's a decent chunk I can salvage for another page. Um, and then I can start gluing all my stuff down. <laughs> but I'm thinking with the fox in the lower left-hand corner, I think if I use a squirrel in the upper right-hand corner, they will frame my layout really nicely. So. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I want to create a cluster that kind of mimics the fox cluster in the lower left hand corner um, with the squirrel. So just backing the background really quick with some black and now sticking down all of these layers. And I really like how this is coming along. I really like this frame with the distressed edge. I'm going to have to do that more because I don't I don't use frames like that really. Um, but here comes the squirrel with a couple uh, ticket layers. I wanted to create the base of this cluster so I could kind of build with some of the smaller stuff. And I love the way these two tickets look sticking out of the top. Um, so I'm going to get those glued down with the squirrel. And since I had the little uh, tree stump with the fox, I wanted to incorporate one of the little mushroom bundles by the squirrel. <laughs> I think those are so cute. So just playing with spacing. I'm trying to figure out how much of the squirrel's feet I want to see. But I kind of want it tucked behind the photo. So there's not a gap between the squirrel's feet that you can see. So you're going to get that stuck down. I'm actually not going to have the squirrel popped up on some foam, but I'm going to have the top of the mushrooms on some foam. So there's a little bit of dimension there, <laughs> but I like that. I will go back and add some thread bundles behind the squirrel's head. Um, but I got sidetracked trying to see what else I wanted to <laughs> include. So from the four dine and market stuff, there's this little text piece that says chase after your dreams, which I thought was really sweet to include. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get that stuck down by the squirrel. And then here are the little mushrooms <laughs> that I think are really cute that I want to incorporate with that cluster as well. So the mushrooms and the stump, I think they're really nice additions to the kind of the woodland theme. Um, but they are kind of random. So I'm trying to sneak that kind of stuff into all of my clusters so I don't have a bunch of that stuff left over. So you can see I'm sticking the mushrooms down. I just put foam towards the top. So there's a little bit of dimension where the, the mushroom caps are. Um, I'm just going to layer that up next to the squirrel. And I think that's really cute. <laughs> so that cluster's coming along. I am noticing I have a lot of the more browny floral leaves left to the left. And I really like those. I don't know why I've been hoarding them this month. But since I am doing this more brown and blue color scheme, I will go and add some of those brown leaves to both of my clusters too, just to pull more of that warmth in um, to the layout. <laughs> but this is where I go ahead and st I think I'm doing thread bundles. Oh, I wanted um, I wanted to create a visual triangle and not just have these two clusters. So I'm create adding a butterfly, a blue butterfly to the upper left hand corner, just so I kind of have a visual triangle. And I do a thread bundle behind that, but I like that too because um, it pulls in a butterfly, it creates a visual triangle, and now it's just not the two animals like on the previous tour, like Holmes tour page. There's like three places to look at, which I think is fun. Um, and I really am trying to include the butterflies in <laughs> these layouts. So I think I go back and I added a couple of smaller blue butterflies a little down the line in this layout. But I like that one for sure. And that's one of my favorite butterflies 
from 49 and Market, so I really wanted it to kind of show off on this page by itself. <laughs> Um, but you can see where I'm adding the two little brown leafy sprigs to both of the clusters, and I really like what that adds. Um, and I really wanted to get some word stickers used up too, so I'm trying to stick to the blue since I have this kind of blue and brown color scheme. So I do add one of them that says love down by the fox and one that says enjoy up by the squirrel just so those can make their way on a layout as well. And those are also going to be popped up on some foam with inked edges for a little bit of depth as well. So I'm just gonna take a minute to get all of those stuck down. Um, and then I think I go back and revisit the butterflies because <laughs> after I added the one butterfly, I felt like it looked lonely. <laughs> so I needed some more butterflies on this layout. But I'm just playing with spacing. I move these words around a little bit before I decide where they're going to go. I thought about having both of them up by the butterfly, but I really wanted to incorporate those in the clusters with the animals so that I had some more blue <laughs> with the brown of the animal. So it just takes me a minute to get those where I want them. I think that's where it goes though. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I forget what I do after this. So I think this is where I go in. I'm thinking about finishing touches at this point. I know I'm missing something. Um, and I'm not quite sure what. And I think these little wood veneer pieces help, but I feel like I need more. So I will add two wooden hearts to both of the animal clusters. Um, but I still am feeling like I need some more blue butterflies. <laughs> and for whatever reason, the, the butterfly up there, I, I knew needed a friend. Um, but the little wooden hearts were not working with the butterfly. So I add the two to both animal clusters <laughs> and then... I think I'll go and find some more blue butterflies and instead of adding more butterflies by the big butterfly, I just add one small one to each of the other clusters. And so that helps accentuate the visual triangle because now there's three blue butterflies <laughs> in that form a visual triangle. And now the blue butterfly in the upper left hand corner feels like it makes more sense. So <laughs> I'm just going to glue those down. I really was thinking of doing a title with my wood veneer and I could not think of what word I wanted but then after the fact I decided to do home as my title in the wood veneer alphabet. So you'll see that at the end of the month when I do my layout share but I had finished the video by the time I realized I wanted to add that. But here are the close-ups. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.